What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Iron Man wrapping up the Secret Wars wave. So let's see what we've got going on. Let's check it out. As promised, today we'll be taking a look at Iron Man. So let's see what we've got going on. Wrapping up the Secret Wars wave, we'll take a look at Iron Man here. So probably the figure I'm least excited about in the wave. Not specifically because it's Iron Man, but because we get Iron Man so often. Uh, I have found a way to kind of get a little bit more excited about receiving these Iron Man figures. Carved out a space on the shelf for a Hall of Armor, so I'm not super uh, upset about receiving an Iron Man all the time anymore. You know, that's uh, just how I've bargained with this uh, scenario, I suppose. But anyway, it's it's a fine looking figure from the outset, right? Obvious things uh, that could be considered an issue for some people, probably not painting that yellow, right? Like, why is the arc reactor not yellow? I don't know. In the comics, of course, we know that Iron Man is James Rhodes in this scenario. However, on the original toy, it was Tony Stark on the lenticular shield, so they kept that in place. Was this the right time to kind of correct that for the toy? I, you could argue, sure, why not? Other than that stuff, though, I mean, you're packed in here. You know, you've even got roller skates, so that's not something you're accustomed to seeing. So, you know, what? whatever, why not, right? But, uh... Let's take a look at the package. These Secret Wars retro cards are on the larger side, so they're going to be closer to your Iron Man or Ghost Rider type cards, right? Taller, significantly taller than your standard size card backs. So that gives you a good idea, especially if you're an inbox collector, the kind of real estate you're going to need to set aside for these cards. On the back of the packaging, we can see what's required for the completion of this wave. There are your instructions for your shield and replacing the card with the alternate Secret Wars 40th Anniversary disc. There's your important information. There's your blur. The Invincible Iron Man helps the Avengers navigate the Beyonders gladiatorial contest, all while harboring a secret about his identity. Let's get him out of the box. Fresh out of the box, it's a fine looking figure. You do get some good accessories in there. You've got the roller skates. I mean, that... That should sell it for you alone, right? Uh, all, all kidding aside, but of course you do get your blast effects. You get those smoke effects, cool stuff, extra hands. You get the blaster. You've got the lenticular shield if that's something you're into. My only like semi-complaint to this figure is I just wish they would have uh, made the arc reactor yellow like it is in that run, right? Um, and on the original figure. Seems like it was easy enough to just paint yellow right instead of going with blue i get that this is reused from that ai tony stark but that's an easy enough thing that seems like it could have been done but i'm not a huge iron man collector so is it something that i'm gonna be like concerned about for the rest of my life no absolutely not i don't care that much but it is something right uh this will find a home in my hall of armor it'll just go into a spot kind of fill up some area so i I like to add an Iron Man figure every now and then just to keep up with that and beef it up a little bit here and there. So that's really my reason for purchasing this in the first place. But let's take a closer look at this figure. As with the others in the wave, you do get your lenticular shield. So there you go, going back and forth between Iron Man and Tony Stark, similar to that of the original Secret Wars toys, which also featured Tony on the lenticular shield that pops right out you replace it with your 40th anniversary disc which also gives you a little bit of instruction on the back there and then just clip it back together and then you have your 40th anniversary disc if that's something that you're looking to use as for the figure itself uh, rather run-of-the-mill I'm not gonna get too deep in particular about this again I don't collect a lot of Iron Man figures and I only collect them for one reason so um, if you have specific things that really bug you about this figure, drop it in the comments, you know, let the community know. But, uh, for me, it's just another Iron Man to fill a spot. You get a pretty 
what I would consider a pretty good looking mask. Of course, the arc reactor area being blue. The only thing that really bugs me on this is that. So um, other than that, you're getting an updated version of an Iron Man figure that we already have. So maybe you want to see some slight retooling, additional retooling, I should say, um, on a newer Iron Man figure. But this buck does seem to do the job and for me it looks pretty representative of what they're trying to accomplish here. For your hands, you do get a set of fists. You get your open set of hands, which do allow you to port in your blast effect. And you get your open hand, which will allow you to hold your blaster. And of course you get your roller skates, which just peg right in. They are fairly generic, so they are the same. You can port either into either foot, and then it just sits flush with the bottom of the foot there, and presumably you can use them on uh, whichever Marvel Legends figure you may wish to do so. For your articulation, the head will look down to there, chin touching the chest, back and up to there. You get good range going backward on this one. Some rock around, plenty of movement side to side plenty of movement there arm does war work its way all the way around up and out to about there upper bicep cut double jointed pinless at the elbow nothing at the forearm hinge at the wrist you just have your ab crunch and hip swivel there a little bit of gap there not so much on the back side leg does kick up and out to there back only to about there up and out to there upper thigh cut double jointed pinless at the knee boot cut hinge and swivel at the ankle for comparison here he is backed up against the ai iron man as i spoke of earlier essentially just an update on this figure although it doesn't come with the ai tony stark head for obvious reasons but you can see they didn't change much for the arc reactor there although they did add some sort of white overlay on there to give it that sort of reflection whereas the one on the ai is solid all the way and here he is backed up against the stealth suit iron man another iteration of this body just a different color and scope right but uh a lot of the same stuff here, essentially all the same, the new one just being updated. All right, folks, well, there you have it. There is your Marvel Legends Secret Wars 40th Anniversary Iron Man. It's an all right figure. I don't really have a lot to complain about because at the end of the day, I bought it just as a space filler on the shelf, right? So for me, not something that I needed to get right away. I just ordered a case of the figure so everything came together. In most situations, I would have waited to get the Iron Man in a wave, waiting for it to hopefully hit discount somewhere. I think you may be able to do that with this. There's just so many Iron Man figures out there um, that I think if you're getting one, you kind of want to see some of the more particular things be correct on the figure. It's an alright action figure at the end of the day. Lots of playability, lots of fun, because I like the accessories and uh, items that came with it. The roller skates are... It's just stupid. It's fun. I like it. That's why I collect these things, right? For stupid fun. And that's what that is. So I'm happy with it. I'm going to put it in the display in the Hall of Armor, probably with the roller skates for that reason, just because it's, you know, something just to laugh at, right? that's that's really where i am with this figure folks it's not one that you need to go out and get right away it's one you could certainly wait on if you think you like it go and get it if you think you're not going to want it then don't get it you know that's uh that's all it is anyway that's the two cents folks i appreciate you listening to me ramble on about this figure for what seems like an eternity but here we are i appreciate you checking out this video and staying this long if you have uh, especially on this one of course you can always find me on any of these socials down here and if you're interested in any of the other secret wars figures i do have reviews for those up on the channel so feel free to go and check those out but folks until next time take it easy
You also get your uh, roller skates, right? Keeping it in line with... <laughs>